Are you a hardcore triple monitor gamer and you want to get the most out of the new WRC game? Did you see that newsletter when it first came out saying it supports ultra widescreen? Well, have I got the help for you because I've already figured out how to get the best triple monitor settings for the new WRC game. I'm going to show you how. So for this method, we're going to need two programs. One is a downloadable program called Simple Runtime Window Editor. I'm sure you've probably heard of it before. And the other one is a website that you go on. It's called the Modern FOV Calculator, I want to say. Um, these are the only two things you're going to need to be able to get the best settings. Uh, it's going to both cover your out-of-game settings, so the stuff that you do to just set up in the first place, and then, of course, the in-game settings to optimize, because the game is inherently made for triple monitors, but I've already found a way to optimize it to where your in-game experience is as perfect as possible, and this works for any size monitors, any resolution, and any distance to the monitors as well. So it's really going to be an all-encompassing tutorial. All right, so we're here at the main screen of the game. The very first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go into the options and extras, go over to your basic graphics settings, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that you are on full screen borderless. This is extremely important if you want to make sure you can get the borderless view uh, for your game. As soon as you're done with that, go ahead and get out of there. Make sure you just don't ever touch that basic settings again. It's going to mess up the whole thing. It's very silly. But now we're going to launch up a program called Simple Runtime Window Editor. If you guys have never used Simple Runtime Window Editor, it was actually what a lot of people used in Dirt Rally 2.0. And it works the exact same here um, for uh, WRC. Now you can see right here, I already have my width set up to kind of show it to you. But let me go ahead and uh, go back to what it looks like normally. Usually it comes out at 2560 by 1440. Now, the way this works, you're going to take your resolution. Me, of course, is 2560 by 1440 as I run 2K. And you're going to multiply that by 3 for your width. For me, that's 7680. Uh, for 27 inches, I'll go ahead and paste that down below uh, in the little text you'll see on screen right now. And, of course, go ahead and type that in. For me, it's 7680. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, my bezel millimeter width times 2. If you guys already have triple monitors, you probably already know your bezel millimeter width. Mine is 8 millimeters. If you don't know your bezel millimeter width, make sure you take a look and find that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that for me. That would be uh, 16 total. So 76, excuse me, 96. That's 7680 plus 16. 36, 96. I'm going to leave my height at the same. And when it comes to the X, this is the one thing that's very curious about uh, Simple Runtime Window Editor. It tries to put like the far left corner of the screen as like the middle monitor which is a little silly so you're gonna go ahead and just basically subtract one of your resolutions so for me it's negative 2560 uh right there once you've typed all those things in you're gonna go ahead and click the set button i'll do that little stretch thing and what you don't see right now uh on this screen but you will as soon as i'm about to switch it it actually already stretched it how about that so it's already stretched out properly the thing that i've noticed about this game which is so mega Dirt Rally didn't do this. The new F1 game doesn't do this. It's not actually a stretch. It somehow projects it as if it's natural triple monitors, which is a genuine game changer. Uh, and it's so far my favorite thing about this game. It's, just, it's absolutely incredible. I could rave about it forever. Now that's the simple runtime window editor part. Now we're going to go in to the in-game settings to get those optimized all right and we're back now and we are in the car we are at rally sweden in the uh ford puma car uh and it already looks pretty good i mean check it out you can see that uh that fanatec uh wheel actually right there uh beneath the whole damn brake and clutch that's the new fanatec button module neither here nor there i'm not nerding out uh you can notice it doesn't look quite right obviously this is single monitor setup right now so it looks like i'm sitting super far back away from this thing if i was to you know put my hands forward like i always do as like my test it just feels like that's it feels like it's far. And the reason why it's feeling like that is because these settings are definitely not optimized. So the way we're going to optimize this, we're obviously going to go to the start menu. I'm going to click that X button, uh, and we're going to go over to game preferences where you do all your in-game camera modifications. It's a bit weird. Uh, the big thing that you're going to be changing right here is this camera FOV for head cam. This camera FOV, the way that you calculate exactly what you want to be, you can do all the finicky, try a bunch of different numbers, go down to zero and just click one, get out two, get out three, get out. That takes forever. We're going to go ahead and launch up this awesome program. It's called the Modern FOV Calculator. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below in the description. What this program does, you can use it for a great majority of your games, and it gives you the perfect field of views whenever you jump into any sim racing game. It's phenomenal. 
Of course, you can see they already have settings for a bunch of different ones. We're not going to look at any of these except for VFOV is the number we're going to be using at the end of this whole calculation. So first things first, you can set your screen ratio. You're probably 16 by 9. If you have triple monitors, you should know this. Set your screen size. I am sitting at 32s. My distance to screen. This is your centimeter to inches calculation. So I already know that I sit 26 inches away from my monitor. And so I'm going to go ahead and type that into a basic calculator. And that gets me 66 centimeters. So let's go ahead and loop myself up at 66 centimeters. I'm on triple screens. My bezel thickness, I already mentioned this earlier. I've got eight millimeter bezels. I've got my uh, settings in there and I see VFOV puts me at a 34. So I'm going to go back to the game right here. I'm going to go over here to the uh, this camera FOV. Drop it down to a 34. Uh, go ahead and click B. It just automatically applies. Get out of there. Click resume. And look at that. It is so much better. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this from a triples view. It looks authentic and real. I put my hand forward. I feel like I'm about to touch the dash. Now that I'm this far back, I'm going to go ahead and change up a few settings when it comes to the seat position. This is the hidden trick within the game. So, of course, you're going to go back into your options. Go over to your controls. And we're going to bind some controls. Uh, don't worry about that. Go over here. Uh, I like to do this on my keyboard. It makes it so much easier. I'm going to go here. Go to edit device. Uh, you may already have these bound, but you want to go down until you see the move seat commands right here. This is what does, this is what gives you all the money. Uh, it's all the fun adjustments. I already, you know, changed these up to myself. You can just use them however you want, but you then you move your seat to get the perfect position. We're to go back out into the game and you see right here, I can actually go ahead and move my seat forward, backwards, up, down, Tilt, tilt, reset back to normal. So I like a little bit farther forward sitting because I am a short king. I like to sit as low as I possibly can. And I like to tilt down a little bit. Uh, oops, I actually uh, reset myself. So I put myself forward, make sure I am far down. And tilt myself down a little bit. Uh, my view that I'm looking for, you can't really see it from this POV right here. But if we go back to the triples view, uh, you can kind of see right here, you see that OSD right there, or that, that DBU? I can actually see it directly through this little space right here while I'm sitting here. That's my little personal reference point that I can also see when I go. Now, when you go ahead and launch this thing up, you're going to feel that it feels absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and launch this guy, put that handbrake in, put that clutch in, rip it. You can hear the revs going. Let's have a little bit of fun here in the WRC game. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You guys are wonderful. I hope you love these new settings. They work phenomenal for me, and I hope they work phenomenal for you. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep being wonderful. Keep making the world a better place. Make sure to come find me on Twitch as well. We're streaming this game, uh, as well as many of the other sim racing games like the uh, F1 titles and, uh, and iRacing all the time. Hope to see you guys around more often. Thanks, all.